Hello everyone. My topic is intelligent network. Hope you can enjoy it. It has two major sections. I will spend half time to discuss about knowledge theory and half time about the intelligent network. For my knowledge theory, there are three levels. Environment data level, nature knowledge level, artificial knowledge level. Environment data is just data exists in the environment. It can be unknown or learned data. Nature knowledge is human direct learn from the nature environment. The artificial knowledge learned from the nature knowledge or itself. Sometimes I call secondary knowledge as well. This map expresses the relationship between knowledge position and innovation. If the knowledge is more close to the center of the dream, it will be less innovation or idea. Because more human made definition will make less space for imagination and creation. And if you want to make an innovation for this kind of knowledge, you have to think outside of the dream. Based on the innovation method, I just redefine the data, information, knowledge, and wisdom. You can see the relationship diagram. This slide presents data information, knowledge, and wisdom. For the definition, I combine some physical math definition. There are two kinds of basic attributes in the world, motion and relative static. Human record the data, which is actually record the differential of the object change by the observation. So the data definition is thinking about the relationship between observer and the object. For the information, it kind of data integration. It can be illogical or logic. Illogical will become Libras. Logical will become sense. Knowledge is activity information. It present as logic information and implement to human social environment. This time is more close to innovation concept. When new idea come, it must collect a different level of information knowledge to rebuild the new concept. And then we're talking something about knowledge architecture and measurement. Knowledge present as horizontal and vector knowledge are metric. If we use two videos of classification to explain. 000 to 009 is one group of horizontal knowledge. Vertical knowledge metric is related to the problem determination, model simulation, and methodology. For example, biology network and uh, internet network. I will explain more detail later. Based on vertical knowledge metric, I build open classification interconnection model. Information transfer from bottom to top, and it has three major layers, which present as left side diagram. Right side diagram present more detailed knowledge layers. And in this diagram, each four major layers has this kind of character. It's not only present at bottom to top, but also left to right. If we go more detail to thinking, we can apply OCR model to every four sub-layers as well. For example, data, religion, art, philosophy. Make religion as physical layer, the art will be theory layer, philosophy will be application layer, or science will be orientation layer, and so on. And then it is knowledge measurement. I only build the concept of the measurement. It has to know the knowledge object and a boundary. Based on the knowledge theory and application, we can define knowledge content. Knowledge and associated knowledge establish the measure. We can use the measure to define the value of knowledge. But uh, the problem is what the real meaning of the knowledge and the logic. OK, let's just jump to another half section about the network. There are some attributes about IPv6 network, but IPv6 still face the problem that the routing protocol cannot hold in that million address. So I use the previous knowledge theory to find a better solution for IPv6 network. This slide presents some main information about the biology network. And then I read information about each nervous system, cataclyphics, V and the magnetic nanoparticles. These facts have similar character. They have ability to know the whole network or topology. For my consideration, DNA can integrate the signal because DNA can read the electric signal and then present a physical network structure to find the best route to go to destination. The evidence is acupuncture point. Each part of human body area can express the whole body function. And I can see if you move the one neuron or a group of neurons from your left body to your right side, it still can read the signal very well. This slide describes how IPv6 network 
physical layer and network layer to borrow a biology network character. This is general history of our internet topology. For my opinion, the reason it has many different topology concepts because the internet development. And it is trying to be more biology network. So I think DLA model or DBM model are the better model for the future internet topology. The central point is headed gravitational field. For the internet is bind wide. The power of gradation reduced by the distance. And the uh, growth of topology is self avoid working model. It can think about internet to prevent the internet broadcast. And finally get a threshold and the model cannot grow anymore. And then think about a biology network. DNS by the whole body network view. And the network topology is self-similar architecture. So how to apply to IPv2 network? We think to the IPv2, there are a huge number of IP addresses. And consider the earth land surface, we can get the following result. So even we have 100 floors building, we still have enough IP address to support the building network. In the future, more complex functions will integrate to bottom layer. For example, physical static topology associated with Earth's latitude and longitude to allocate the IP address. Micro address will disappear because of the FACO internet topology. Each router will have global network view because of physical static network and FACO internet topology. Furthermore, semantic web will work more with the network because of cloud computing. So based on the previous IP concept, IPv2 can do the physical static network. To think about IPv2 can explore geography location. To think about city design, it divides a residential area, commercial area, factory area, government. So we can base on the IP to think about every data package, priority, or even content. The final talk is about knowledge and intelligence for semantic web. For my opinion, network and semantic web will work more close because two may access the internet which just want to get the necessary information. So deliver the accurate information to user which will deliver the information before that or reduce unwanted packages going through the internet. But for the intelligent, it must solve problems about really many of intelligence. It is relearning or recollect the memory. For my opinion, it is reflection. Human or any lives, they already have knowledge architecture in their body. It means it's not only in brain. Human just reflect this memory. For this kind of web thinking, I borrow automatic network system concept. The right side is automatic network system. The left side, I apply the knowledge theory to think about uh, intelligent web. It can see the similar concept. It depends on the function to process the information. It's easy to process and get information in own area. But if the knowledge go across different layers, it will take time. Each layer's function can cooperate with each other to make own meaning and reflection to process a signal.